This is Twit. As we know, the fact that Windows 11 would require support for version 2.0 of the trusted platform module, you know, TPM version 2.0, this came as surprising and unwelcome news to many Windows 10 users whose hardware lacks TPM 2.0. And this is particularly annoying since Windows 10 runs just fine on such hardware, and we all know that Windows 11 is just Windows 10 with its pointy corners rounded off. (laughs) <laughs> Yet Microsoft Microsoft has said, no TPM 2.0, no Windows 11 for you. So, uh, in a very nice bit of news from the motherboard manufacturer Asus, which will hopefully become an industry-wide trend, Asus is working to make the upgrade to a Windows 11 easier, and in some cases possible, for users of their motherboards by offering updated BIOSes for, get this, 207 different motherboards. Now, some Asus BIOSes may already support Windows 11 requirement for TPM 2.0 and might only need to have one of two possible BIOS settings enabled depending upon which processor the motherboard uses. So that would be either you turn on Intel Platform Trust Technology, Intel PTT, or AMD Platform Security Processor. That's what they're called in their respective Asus BIOSes. Turn whichever one of those you see on, and if you have TPM 2.0, you're good to go. But since the BIOS may be somewhere some users fear to tread. An alternative is to simply download and run Asus's new BIOS for your particular motherboard, any one of 207. It will load with TPM version 2.0 deliberately pre-enabled and thus ready for the forthcoming upgrade to Windows 11 painlessly. I've got a link in the show notes to Asus page, or I'm sure you can just find it at Asus under "Getting Ready for Windows 11." Do you? Do you? Uh, you anyway, there's TPM in software, right? Like BIOS TPM, right? Well, there's um, yes, there is TPM um, in uh, Intel has a secure enclave technology, which which essentially allows it as long as the processor supports secure enclave, then that's sort of a it's an it's a it's no longer a separate chip on the motherboard. Right. It is built into the processor, got it, got and, th- it. and that's actually better because, as we know, you can hang a a, di- a digital logic analyzer on the little eight pin EE prom, which the TPM module uses, and people have done this and watched the the bit locker key move across the wire and capture it. So, yeah. you know, it really is better if it's built in. Although there have been some some security concerns about how, you know, how tight that enclave is locked up right. uh, from Intel. Right. But anyway, I thought it was very cool that they're saying, hey, d- not a problem. If you have an ACES motherboard, find your motherboard, download the program. You know, it's, it's a Windows-based, it's a Windows-based update, so you don't have to you know, figure out how to boot yourself or anything. And it will update your BIOS turning TPM 2.0, giving you 2.0 if you don't have it, and making sure that it's turned on. So then whenever it is uh, that this happens, uh, Windows 11 will just run on that hardware. So nice going, Asus.